Cirrus Migrate Cloud is a patented solution created to help customers move data from anywhere to anywhere. This includes within on-premises data centers, between data centers, on-premises to clouds, between clouds, between storage tiers or availability zones or regions of clouds, with the least impact on production operations. In many cases, the migration and final cutover can be performed with zero downtime. Cirrus Migrate Cloud is block storage array agnostic, giving customers a single tool for all their block data migration requirements. Going forward, we'll refer to Cirrus Migrate Cloud as CMC. This short video will demonstrate CMC migrating from an on-premises fiber channel disk to an SSD drive in a VM in the Oracle Cloud. This migration will be conducted as the data is in use at the source location. During the migration, Cirrus Data's intelligent QoS will ensure that there's no impact to applications in production. For this migration, a Linux host is using a disk from the source storage configured with multipath. The goal is to migrate to the new storage without any downtime throughout the deployment, migration, and final cutover process. The migration is managed using the Cirrus Data Cloud Portal. Let's take a look at the CDC portal and start to deploy the CMC agents at both Linux hosts. The first step is to get the two hosts to register and appear in a project in the CDC portal. Let's take a look at the CDC portal and start to deploy the CMC agents at both Linux hosts. Log in to the CDC portal using your account. Here's a list of all the projects you've created or those you were invited to by other project administrators. Let's create a new project by clicking on the Create New Project button. Enter a project name, a short description, and click Create Project. Click on the newly created project to open it. Project details and license information are listed here. On the left are items related to this project, such as Project Overview, Migration Hosts, H2H Connections, Migration Settings, Integrations, and Project Settings. First, let's click on Project Settings. You can invite other users to help manage this project or you can delete the project or leave the project if there's another administrator assigned to it. Now let's see how we can add the Linux host to the project. Click Hosts. We'll use a Linux CentOS 7 VM instance that was already configured and connected to the internet using a public IP address. Since there's no destination volume yet, it'll be auto-allocated later automatically by CMC using the plugin for Oracle OCI. We can also attach an existing disk to an Oracle VM. There are no existing discovered hosts. Click here to get the one-line installation command. Note that the command contains a project ID, which allows this command to be used by all the hosts that are supposed to be migrated by this project to register with this project. In this way, we end up with the entire list of all hosts for this project automatically. Open up a PuTTY terminal to the on-premises Linux CentOS host. Paste the copied command and run it in the PuTTY session. Open a second PuTTY terminal to the Linux VM in the Oracle Cloud. Paste the same copied command and run it in the PuTTY session. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute for the registration to complete. There's no user interaction necessary. Now the registration is complete and we should have both hosts listed in our project back at the CDC portal. At the Migration Host window, we now see both the on-premises Linux host as well as the CentOS VM in the Oracle Cloud. Let's start a workload on the database by running this script to add records. Now records are being added constantly. Let's see the web GUI for this application. Note that we have a number of records so far and they're continually increasing. The on-premises fiber channel disk has an active workload. We now want to migrate this live and cut over to the new Oracle cloud storage without any downtime. The first step is now complete. The next three steps are to create the H2H connection between the source and destination define the integration for OCI, and create the migration session and auto-allocate destination LUNs. Optionally, we can set up actions for snapshots. First, we'll define the integration with OCI using the Add-On plugin. Click on the Add button beneath Oracle to add the credentials. Enter the name for the migration, enter the OCI credentials, upload your private key, and select as deployment target the OCI VM name. Click Save and Close. A new integration icon appears as enabled. Now we'll connect the two hosts by clicking the H2H connection tab in the CDC web console and create a host to host connection. The on premises source Linux host can send compressed and encrypted data to the OCI destination Linux VM. 
Click on H2H Connections on the left of the CDC portal and click the Create New Connection button to create the connection. Once connected, either side can send data to the other. We'll use the on-premises VM host as the source, destination, and destination host IP address. Note the source, destination, and destination host IP address. Here the destination address is the public IP address of the target Linux VM in the Oracle Cloud. Now click Migration Session to open the Migration Sessions page. Since there are no migration sessions yet, use the red button to create a new one. Select the source Linux host and click Continue. Note that CMC supports both local and remote migration, so here we'll click Remote Migration. Select the CentOS VM in the Oracle Cloud as the destination. Select the option to migrate data volumes only and click Continue. The entire list of all local physical drives is listed for the on-premises host. We'll select the on-premises device to be migrated to the Oracle Cloud. Let's migrate the 1 gig SSD disk in the on-premises host to the SSD disk type at the Oracle Cloud. Click Continue to start the allocation. Next, we'll prepare the destination host to allocate a new disk that will be the target of the migration. We'll allocate the target volume for the DM0 source disk. Click on Allocate Volumes button to allocate the target volume. Wait until the allocation of the disk completes and the new volume appears in the Oracle Cloud VM. Once all the remediation steps have been completed, the new disk with the size we selected appears in the PuTTY terminal at the OCI VM. Click Continue. Now we're going to create the migration session by entering some information. The first step is to select the migration parameters. Enter a short description of the migration. Select the option to enable auto resync and the periodic sync interval and the IQOS impact level. IQOS is Cirrus Data's intelligent quality of service. It automatically throttles back the migration when the source volume becomes more active and opens it up when the source volume is less active. Now we'll select the appropriate IQOS level for this migration. We can choose from minimum, moderate, aggressive, or relentless. For this migration, we'll pick moderate. Optionally, CMC can define pre-snapshot, snapshot, and post-snapshot actions. Every time a periodic resync is complete, these actions are triggered, allowing for a fully consistent snapshot to be taken using the snapshot capability of the destination storage. This allows the destination disk to be tested by the real application or database prior to cutover. We're going to skip this for now. Click Create Session to start the migration. Here's the dashboard to let you know how the migration is going. It shows the source disk volume migrating to the destination disk. We can observe the migration progress and host details. We can see changes, migration rate, and the remaining data to synchronize. The migration session is created and is started. After the initial sync is complete, at the resync interval, CMC will perform a resync. So now the newly created destination managed disk is discovered automatically and is automatically paired with the source disk. Monitor the migration session screen. When the status becomes tracking changes, the initial copy is complete and we can proceed to the next step, which is CMotion. In this stage, the next step is to perform CMotion where the workload I.O. can be swung over to the destination storage. This makes it possible to perform a test cutover using CMotion, observe the performance and other capabilities of the new storage to confirm everything's working, and if additional adjustments need to be made offline, we can swing the workload back to the source while the new storage is being reconfigured. The CMC CMotion feature performs a storage level cutover from a source on-premises storage to the destination cloud storage without downtime to the cloud VM hosts. CMotion is used to swing the workload over from the original on-premises VM to the new destination block storage at the Oracle Cloud. Or we can revert CMotion back to the source and then CMotion back to the destination. Monitor the migration session screen. When the session becomes tracking changes, the initial copy is complete and we can proceed to the next step, which is CMotion. We know an application's running that's appending records to the database. To see the dirty or change blocks during the migration process, we can click on the View Change Data Map icon. Observe that the dirty blocks are being tracked and shown here as blue dots as we add database records. We can also click on the IQOS button and see that I.O. is now written to the production disk in the Oracle Cloud. When the status becomes tracking changes, the initial copy is complete. We can proceed to the next step, which is CMotion. Synchronization is now at 100% and the session is in the tracking changes state. In this state, migration is paused and the dirty map is maintained to track the block level changes. When it's time to cut over, the next step will be to trigger CMotion 
causing the workload I.O. to be swung over to the destination storage. Click Session Actions and select Trigger C Motion and wait until the status changes to C Motion. We know an application is running, adding records to the database. The I.O. is redirected to the destination, VM. There are no I.O.s written to the source disk. We're now ready to complete the migration and finalize cutover. The action to finalize cutover is used to ensure that the source disk and destination disk are set up so that when there's a planned or unplanned reboot in the future, the destination disk will be the one mounted for production. To finalize cutover, the user is prompted to bring the source host application offline. Once that's detected, the user is reminded to bring the destination target disk online and then to bring online the application for production. This will then complete the migration project. Now we're ready to finalize this migration. Click on Session Actions and select Finalize Cutover. Observe that the status has changed to Cutover C Motion and the final cutover is complete. Once the final cutover is complete, mount the destination volume on the Destination Oracle Cloud VM. Now at the Destination Oracle VM, we'll mount the new storage to slash data and compare both volumes to observe that the database is online. We'll shut down the source application, which in this case is the PostgreSQL database. Then we'll unmount slash data from the source host and confirm that they're identical to the same command performed as the on-premises host. We can continue to add records at this time to the destination Oracle Cloud VM. The migration project is complete at this stage without any downtime and a small delay between the unmounting of the source and the mounting of the new volume at the destination. For the case of remote migration where there's a new cloud host that is pre-configured to run the migrated workload, CMotion effectively eliminates the final synchronization. This completes the demonstration of online migration using Cirrus Migrate Cloud end-to-end -end from deployment to migration to final cutover and with only a brief transitional outage needed to shut down the source application and immediately start the destination application. This patented solution is key for everyone moving to Oracle Cloud.